parole est à vous. Please proceed. Thank you, Chair, and thank you, Senator Gignac. As, you can, as I can see, this committee is extremely collegial. Mr. McDonald, my question is to you. Canadians are incredibly generous people. We give more than $10 billion a year uh, for charitable, uh, through charitable giving. And yet, it is stunning to learn that less than 1% of this money reaches the hands of Indigenous or Black communities. Recently, the government also legislated an increase in the disbursement quota of private foundations from 3.5% to 5%. Coupled with this amendment that we are discussing, which will remove the restrictions of direction and control, do you anticipate that more money will be accessible and will in fact reach Black and Indigenous communities? Yeah, it's, a, it's an excellent question. The short answer is yes. And I think you, you talked about the fact that these are companion pieces. The increase to the disbursement quota alone, without changing the practices and the regulations for how that money could flow, would not suffice. The amendments in Bill um, C-19 are critically important to ensuring that the very groups that you mentioned will be able to benefit from the anywhere from 200 to 700 million, depending on which numbers you're using, new dollars that will flow in uh, into the sector. And it'd be critically important that those groups are part of the, those, uh, those new funding arrangements.